So for breakfast Monday morning, we are going to have oatmeal and I'm having coffee and then um, we'll see what else we do for lunch and stuff. We're kind of just okay, winging so it. For today. lunch today, we are just going to have some of these burritos. We have a couple different ones. Um, I think there's one more of the steak ones with the peppers. We'll have some of these and then we'll probably snack on some tortilla chips or something with it. But like I said, we're just having a very easy, lazy Monday, just trying to catch up on laundry and stuff. So that so is for what dinner. I have some chicken in the air fryer. This is the second batch. The kids already ate the other one. And again, they are eating it up. They are eating it with this wing sauce. It is so, so good. Obviously not the younger kids, just the older ones. So that is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see you guys tomorrow. So here is Monday night's dinner. There's that chicken we did in the air fryer, some leftover um, pasta Alfredo. I just put some bacon crumbles and some Parmesan cheese, leftover green beans with some hot sauce. And then David used these two um, brownie mixes. He made like a little cake style with some frosting that we had in the pantry. So these two are out of our pantry. And did you use all the frosting? No, no, so we still have some of the frosting. But that is Monday night dinner. It looks really delicious. My mouth is watering. The chicken smells really, really good. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning, and I wanted to show you guys. I'm starting my morning with coffee. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Everyone is still sleeping. The kids are sleeping. My husband's at work. I opened the chickens, fed them, gave them water. I turned on the dishwasher. Laundry's going. But I want to show you guys last night on those wings, I finished up my garlic powder. I have one more in my stock pile. I finished up my almond coffee creamer this morning, which is fine because I don't want to go shopping till tomorrow because the ads, um, they start a new week tomorrow. So I don't want to go just yet. Tomorrow for coffee, we could either do that Nest Instant Coffee, which is delicious, or we can... Um, use the coffee creamer powder that I have uh, in the RV, which is really good as well. So we'll figure that out, but I'm definitely, definitely don't want to go to the stores. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up going. I don't know. I'm going to try not to till tomorrow till I see what sales are going on. So yeah, I have some more chicken wings thawing. Like, I don't know if I told you guys in the last video, but we bought a lot of chicken wings, like 100 pounds or something I don't even know at restaurant depot so we have lots of chicken wings and they do take up a lot of room in our freezer so we're going to try to use those up I'm going to do them probably in the air fryer with those hot sauce that's what everybody's been into the kids asked for it so that's what's thawing out I also want to make like a, a huge pot of chicken stock so I'll probably use some of those for that because I have none in my freezer and I'd like to get some in there so let's see I have lots of plans for this morning we'll just kind of take it once the five time and see what we get on tuesday i'm having two of those little homemade breakfast burritos we made last week and i have a bunch of these little condiment packets in a ziploc bag in my fridge so we're trying to use those up so i used one of those on it and it looks really delicious i just heated them up in a paper towel for about a minute and a half and straight from frozen and they look good the kids are still not awake it's almost nine o'clock but i left the bag with the frozen burritos out on the counter so they can thaw out because I'm sure they'll so want some for time. lunch on Tuesday I took out some hamburgers from the freezer with the patties made them in the air fryer with just some mayo ketchup and mustard and then a piece of fruit this is Lucas's he likes green apples so he'll have that then the older kids have been doing some of the wings with the hot sauce and that's what they've been eating and yeah everyone is um needing to eat some fruit with it because we need to eat up the fruit that we have so that's what's going on so change far of plans time. yet again i never end up making the chicken broth but i am gonna make i thought out this uh ground turkey that's been in my freezer from costco for a while so thought that out and i have celery onion carrots um salt pepper bay leaves and then i put one can of this chicken broth i have a whole case but um, I only want to use one, kind of rationing it out. Uh, it's been many years, I think 10 years, if not more, since I've used chicken broth from a can. I always have some in the freezer, but I, I just don't. And I use three of these uh, chicken, instant chicken seasoning cubes. I'm gonna get the meatballs ready, and these will also, um, 
it'll make like a broth from the meat so it'll be flavorful and that's about it oh and then i will i also got this from our stockpile from the garage showed you guys we were out of it so got that and what else oh we're gonna eat it with green onion from our garden emma's just cleaning those up say hi Luca. hi hi emma and uh it's if you've never had soup like it's so good with green onions it's so so good and a little bit of salt so we're getting that ready and yeah i'll show you guys when we put it together we've made meatball soup before many times but it's so so good right lucas yeah even um bean soup with green onion is good yeah we, we'll have to make some bean soup this week because we have lots of beans huh yeah we never use them we never use them yeah because we just opened the pack like okay them. let's get these um these the soup ready these onions are ready and we'll put it together and show you guys our delicious delicious meal it is one o'clock and I showed you guys they've had burgers, they've had wings. Now we're making soup. So I don't know if it's just gonna be dinner or just keep eating it for lunch. We'll I also see. I used a can of tomato sauce and it is definitely cleaning out my spices um, week because I just finished this black pepper. So we will toss that. I just put in the meatballs and the rice. Oh, I also used some rice in here and I have veggies and yeah. Everything came out of our freezer pantry and uh, the veggies from the fridge. So very excited. I'm gonna do a sour cream mixture at the end and I will put dill and parsley that I have Here in my freezer. my lunch. So it is two o'clock. This morning I had the coffee and the breakfast burritos and I just finished the meatball soup. Look at that, you guys, it looks so good. And I ended up making just a little salad with that green onion and some tomato, olive oil, salt, and apple cider vinegar. I wanted to put some cucumbers, but um, the cucumbers that my husband got last week at our produce store, I cut one and it was really, really bitter. So I'm gonna give it to the chicken. I don't know if the other ones are any good or not, but either way, this is what I am having for lunch. It's hot outside and soup is weird, but I've been craving it. And this kind of cools it down and just really yeah, refreshes. So it is Tuesday night and I just started a bread in the bread machine. That's gonna be done when my husband goes to work. And then I replenished, all well, the kids replenished this big box uh, of flour from the huge 50 pound bag. And I actually put this in the dishwasher and cleaned it out, sterilized it, and now we're good to go. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick before going to bed, I just started this bread and then it's fine. When it's done, it can sit there for a few hours. It's not a big deal. So yeah, we will have nice, um, fresh homemade bread okay. okay so it is thursday at 9 30 at night we had an interesting day we had to go for an emergency run not run a drive to seattle for one of our businesses and it literally took us all day so we had i put some sandwiches some peanut butter and jellies and stuff like that and now we're home and i'm gonna turn you guys around and show you guys what we're having for dinner at 9 30 having night. some of us are having waffles with scrambled eggs and others are having chicken nuggets and we will see you guys tomorrow for what's good morning dinner. everyone it is friday morning and i am drinking coffee we were supposed to go camping today for a couple days with the rv but that didn't happen because something came up with one of our businesses and um, my husband needs to be here taking care of that and so I'm just drinking coffee and I'm going to replan um, our weekend and see what we can get done around the house. And I'll bring you guys till Friday. And I am getting some beans soaked in here. Lucas requested bean soup. It's kind of gloomy outside, so I think it's a perfect day for soup. So those are going to soak up um, some water. Just let them get plumped up a little bit for just about a half an hour or so, maybe an hour, because I'm cleaning out my fridge, trying to see what we need to use up. Um, I got a bunch of baby carrots, celery, and broccoli. So someone gave me those. And so I need to figure out what to do with those. I think I'm going to just roast the broccoli in the oven. And then the rest will just kind of snack on and uh, use in for breakfast. Friday, I am going to have the last of the waffle with a green apple. I think Emma's having cereal. David had... I don't even know oatmeal i think or cereal and then the little ones are having waffles with maple syrup so i'm gonna get that in the toaster the kids are in the toaster right now 
and that is what so we're having for lunch we are having cheese pizza and i also shredded up some of this um chicken that david did for my birthday in the air fryer it was just some chicken breast um and i just shredded it up to have a little bit of protein and i have more pizza going in the air fryer for the kiddos and that is what lunch is on friday we're keeping it very simple and then i'm going to start on my bean soup and then uh, we'll probably have that in between lunch ready and to make my bean soup I pulled out this ham from the freezer. I'm gonna put this back. I'm only gonna use a few pieces. That's more than enough. I'm gonna use some uh, baby carrots that I've seen better days. A can of tomato sauce, half an onion. My husband used the other half when he was making his lunch for work. And then because I still don't have chicken broth, I'm gonna use about two or three of these. Chicken cubes, bouillon things, and some hot water. And here are my beans. They've soaked up some water, and I'm going to throw this water away, obviously, and then get it going. So this is what I'm going to use for my pantry, fridge, freezer, pantry, fridge. So those are a few things that um, we're going to be getting rid of, and yeah, it's going pretty so good. So for the soup, you can see it kind of burned a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, I just sauteed the ham to render any of the fat. And I use that fat that's, uh, that comes out of it instead of uh, butter or oil. So I take the onions, um, carrots, some bay leaves, salt, pepper. And then here's my three bouillon cubes. And I will add that and kind of scrape uh, the bottom of the pot with that. And then all that flavor, it's just coming off right now. And all that's going to be flavor in there. I'm going to add more water. And then I have two huge... Um, garlic cloves that I'm going to mince and throw in there. I don't saute it with the veggies because I don't want it to burn. And then after that, I'm going to add my tomato paste, my beans, and let those boil forever. And really all I do is add the frozen um, dill at the end. And that's it. That's all there is to this soup. It's super easy. And you like it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And that is literally Lucas's favorite soup. So super easy. You can give it a go. There's really no measurements. Um, I just kind of play it by ear and just use whatever you have and however much, if you like more carrots, add more carrots, more onions, more garlic, whatever. And if you have chicken stock, beef stock, anything like that, that would give it even better flavor of vegetable stock. And uh, you just want to make sure you boil the beans in there and you might have to add water as you go along. If you like it a little bit thicker, don't add so much water. If you like it thinner, then obviously add more water. Oh, we like our thinner, so I'll definitely be adding more water. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and you just have to wash the beans. Um, for like you, you let then, them soak. Yeah, then you have to wait for one hour. Yeah, yeah. So there's that. I uh, gotta clean up the kitchen. That's from last night's dinner, from the scrambled eggs, and I wanted to get this going and then just clean up. And yeah, we'll have soup. So I time. put the beans in there. I obviously added more water and the can of tomato paste and my garlic and now this is just going to simmer away for a while and this uh some of the water is going to evaporate and shrink down so i have my can of tomato paste with some water to get everything out and then when i freeze my dill i keep the stems i wash them dry and freeze them so i'm going to throw some of these in here and then you just pick them out at the end but i wanted to show you guys i had way too many beans soaking so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add to these a little bit more and i'm just going to throw them in the crock pot and cook them up and put them um, in the freezer in a Ziploc bag because I don't want to waste them. And then when we do chilies or tacos or whatever, we have beans ready to go. So there you go. If you accidentally soak too many beans, that's what you can do. Easy fix with that. And this is gonna start simmering. I hope it's not gonna bubble over. It's kind of full, but it already smells really, really good. So yeah, simple, simple soup. Anyone can do if you have lots of dried beans. This is a great uh, option and it tastes really, really good. It smells really good. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, Friday. That's done. It was super, super easy. And I just finished, I'm just putting the lid on it so it can stay warm. I'm just finishing up cleaning up. Um, oh, by the way, there's my sugar packets. I've been trying to use those down. We have lots of teas and stuff. I cleaned out the air fryer because it needed to be cleaned out. And there's our little coffee station. And then I bought these coffee pots. Uh, they go with the Keurig, but I just keep it in this lid um, so it can stay fresher since they're open and exposed. We got some nuts from the pantry that we need to 
eat up. And then here are the beans that were left over. I actually didn't add any more. I just added the ones that were in the um, bowl because I have quite a few in the freezer. So oh, I wanted to show you guys my utensil jar thingy broke. So I have to find a new one. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep on using that. And then I also, well, I washed all the dishes. I loaded the dishwasher and then washed everything else that was left by hand. And that's just drying. And then I got the flowers that I got for my birthday and put some fresh water. And I actually brought them by the window just because it, where they were, they were getting a lot of sunlight, but it was just really hot. So I want them to get some fresh air. I don't know. They're starting to kind of sag down. So that's sad. Um... But it's not really hot outside, if you guys can tell. It's sunny, but there's like such a beautiful cold breeze coming in. It's it's very refreshing. So I put them there. My other flowers. My kitchen. Did the floors. Um, my kids did the living room because they're old enough. There's the rest of my flowers. And then the only thing I have left to do is clean up the table here. I have all my birthday cards that I got, my presents. Uh, I ordered some Birkenstocks that came actually on my birthday. And then with that, I got that free bag. I got to put that away. And it's really cool because it also has like a little makeup pouch in there. So I love getting my shoes from DSW because they always have promotions and coupons and stuff. So it's fabulous. And then over here, I have a really special gift that my best friend gave me in here. She's so creative. I should have opened this before. In here, she made a, she had a puzzle made up with um, my best friend, our best friend that passed away with just pictures of her and me and stuff. So I can't wait to get that done. I thought it was very, very sweet. Um, our other friend passed away from cancer two years ago and uh, she actually brought us together. So we're like really good friends and then she also got me a um picture frame to like put the puzzle in and then I've been like she knew I really wanted this um hair dryer but it's like a 100 bucks at Costco anyway she got me that as well and some other really cute sentimental things so very very nice so, yeah anyway um got sidetracked but that's our kitchen and the only thing I have left to cook today is I have some wings that have been in the fridge seasoned so I'm going to throw those in the air fryer and maybe, maybe just make like a side of rice and one of those bag salads that I bought yesterday. And that's about it. Next thing I'm going to do is probably make myself another coffee since it's three o'clock and then tackle our laundry and just tidying up the room. So I wanted to show you guys kind of our snacks. We have lots of graham crackers and crackers and stuff. And then David over here is making a apple crisp, right? Cobbler. Cobbler. Uh, using some of the Granny Smith apples that we have. And then he's going to top it with these buttermilk biscuits that are from our freezers. So, again, just with the whole theme, keeping up with just using up what we have. Oh, and I want to show you guys the beans in the crock pot. They finished up. I'm just going to cool them, put them in Ziploc bags or in a jar, and Everyone, pop them in It's the Saturday morning, and it's a beautiful sunny day here. I made some polenta with some bacon bites and sour cream. So I wanted, oh, sorry, bacon crumbles. I have this whole bag that's more than halfway full and I have another one in the freezer. So I decided to come up with other ways of using it. I usually just use it on salads, but this time what I did is I just heated it up on the stove just a little bit till it got nice and crispy. I made some polenta, the kids already have their plates. And then I have some sour cream and I have another full sour cream, the squeezable kind in the RV fridge. So. I wanted to use that up. There's my polenta and I have another huge bag. I buy the polenta in bulk at Winco. So this is my plate with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So we use that from the fridge, sour cream from the fridge and from our pantry. Today in our meal, we use the polenta. And then I have my coffee that I'm still drinking. This is my beautiful mug my friend gave me for my birthday. And Lucas um, brought me coffee in bed because he knows how to make it. So. There's that, and we are still using the powdered coffee creamer because I forgot to buy liquid coffee creamer, but that's okay. We have plenty on the powdered one. So that is what is going on. Oh, and then over here in my bread machine, I have a dough going because I'm gonna make, um, I have a huge block of feta cheese from Costco that I bought, a cup, I don't know, about two months ago that I need to use up. So I'm gonna make 
something that's stuffed with dill and feta and egg and it's really good so I'll, I'll show you guys obviously when I make that but that's another thing I want to get out of my fridge so just making dough and obviously flour and yeast and all that those are all pantry staples that I'm using up so I will see you okay, guys so I was what? unloading my dishwasher after breakfast I want to load um, the other dishes that I have there and I wanted to show you guys these uh, containers you can reuse over and over like this was um, a sour cream container and I just reused it if you wash it on your top rack of the dishwasher it doesn't melt and I heard if you take like rubbing alcohol you can actually get all the writing off which I have to try but um, yeah just a quick little hack um, these are really great for leftovers and stuff to keep in the fridge so yeah and they are dishwasher safe on the top of the rack not all of them but most of them I don't know if it says on them or not but one day I decided to try it and I've been reusing that one for a long time and it's fine so, oh, I forgot to show you guys yesterday's David Little apple, whatever he did, but the kids liked apple it. Apple pie. They said it's an apple pie. Okay. It was more like a cobbler, but they really liked it and uh, it's almost gone. So that's great. We used up some of the apples and the biscuits and everything. Okay, so that's so good. here's my dough. It's such a beautiful dough that I had going this morning. I have another one ready to go. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to start that. Here is my feta, frozen dill, and egg. So I just put the feta in that bowl with some dill and egg to bind it, pepper, salt, garlic powder. And then I'm gonna cut this up, roll it out, and make little round circles. And then just kind of pinch them on top, put them upside down on the pan, and do a little egg wash and bake them in the oven at 400 degrees. Well, no, I'll probably start at like 375 for about 20 minutes or so. And then, um, turn up the heat to 400 and yeah that's it that's all there is to it and I'll show you guys what they look like you can fill them with anything my family really likes this mixture and like I said I bought this a while back um even though feta can stay in the fridge for a long time I just want to use it up it says um to sell by July 28th so we're coming just around the corner on that so I'm gonna use that up and like I said I have another dough ready to go I just cleaned out my whole bedroom dusted baseboards everything and I have my bathroom soaking with chemicals so I figured let's get these in go scrub the bathroom <laughs> while these are cooking and just here's my little setup my mixture I used all of the feta and I literally just put the filling inside and just pinched it and then I will put them upside down on my little pizza pan do my little egg wash and bake it I mean it is so easy and these by the way they freeze really really well as well and they're very very filling and like I said the filling can be whatever you like I just use the basic white bread dough white dough bread oh my gosh I can't say it the basic recipe that you make white bread with and I just put it on the dough setting and yeah this is a really really nice dough and very versatile for lots of things I've made elephant ears out of it homemade donuts you so there's it. the first tray with them and then i have a little bit more dough but i just want to show you guys whenever i'm working with dough this always happens it's just normal right you guys who's my big helpers you know i think clothes will have to be changed the floor will need to be mopped but it is what it is this is how we do anything with dough i still have some filling a little bit of dough and i also wanted to show you guys just ran out of my avocado spray so I don't think I have any in my stockpile I'll have to check but that's something I'm gonna need to pick up but yeah so I know that this dough that I'm making is gonna be too much for the filling which is fine we'll just do like some homemade donuts or something but I'll show you guys uh, like I said it's a really good dough no I think you have enough flour it's enough yeah, flour I'm able to use up all the filling I just cleaned up um, and put those in the oven my dough is still going. I went into the RV, so we were supposed to go camping this weekend, but because of issues with one of our businesses, we had to stay home so my husband could take care of that, which thank God everything is okay now. Um, but I did buy this in my last grocery haul with the idea for us eating it there. So we're gonna cut it up and have some for lunch. We'll probably not use it all, but while I was in my RV fridge, I swear, I. I forget what I have in there, so I'm so glad I went. I have a little tub of feta cheese, which again, I'll use for the filling. And I have some mozzarella cheese, some 
uh, queso cheese. This was from leftover from a salad. It's mozzarella, so we'll use that. And I found some cheese sticks. So we will definitely incorporate, make some kind of a filling, have that for lunch, and then move on to washing the bathroom and keep on going with laundry and everything and just getting the house back to a semi deep clean and just getting it really nice and clean. Everything else is pretty okay. Um, I just, hopefully my husband, when he comes home from work, he actually had to work today. We'll have, uh, maybe he can take out those rugs and just pressure wash them outside. I'm not sure if we'll get to it today, but that's our plan. And out Mike, you can see that one exploded, but that's okay. And that's the bottom. They're super soft, super delicious. One of the trays is already gone. I just finished cleaning my room and bathroom. Let me show you guys. I don't think I've ever showed you guys my bathroom in my room. It's kind of an interesting layout. So these are French doors that we have to our bedroom, which is really nice because you have a lot of, um, you know, if you need to put furniture in and out, you have a lot of room. This is our bedroom. We don't have a lot of things in it. My hamper, some pictures from the kids. My daughter hung that up for my birthday, our bed. We've had this furniture for, what, 16 years since we got married. I love this mirror. And that's my husband's side. And then you can see our bathroom is open <laughs> to our master bedroom. I guess we, we've talked about maybe putting walls and closing it, but we've just had it like this for such a long time that we're used to it. We redid the bathroom a couple years ago. We got these from Ikea. I absolutely love these. You can just use any cleaner and it cleans them off really easily. And then our jacuzzi tub. Mm, Lucas and Noah pulled one of those shutter things off. So my husband has to put that back up. There's my closet and that's it. Very, very simple. Very empty, I guess. And I like it that way because it feels very bright and airy and I don't, I didn't want a lot of clutter. I guess I could buy more furniture to put around here. I just don't, I don't need it and I don't want it. So even my curtains are pretty bright and stuff. I just like bright and white. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd show you guys since I haven't really showed you so my the house. second dough, there is the dough. I have a mixture of an egg, some mozzarella, some dill and feta. And I also had some um, cheddar cheese in the fridge. So use that up. And then I have more cheese if we need it, but that's the mixture I'm gonna use. Pop these in the oven and then be done with both um, both of so the doughs. here is the second batch. And this is what's left over from the first batch. And they're absolutely delicious. These ones are actually filled with jam. These you can tell over spilled a little bit with the cheese. They're still delicious. So just turned on the dishwasher, cleaned up everything again. David's gonna have ice cream. And yeah, our day is going along just fine. It's 4.34, I'm not planning on making any dinner because we still have leftover bean soup. We still have some of that sandwich and we're just gonna eat on that. There you guys, it is 6.12. My husband took out one of the rugs from the hall. Look what's underneath, this is real life. I'm gonna wash that rug. And then I have white rugs that I usually have in my bedroom and those are outside um i just was shaking them off and i'm gonna be washing those those are my house shoes and then this rug is gonna get pressure washed and actually this goes all the way to the wall it's a really huge rug and then the kids is orange rug from their room and then i don't know how to wash this hamper i can't stick it in the wash machine this is the kids hamper because it's like really stiff so i'm just gonna have them pressure wash the inside and outside of it and yeah that's what's going on you guys we are just using up our cleaning supplies because we have so much cleaning supplies but so little cleaning done so <laughs> we're going through stuff and it feels good um he actually drills he screws the rugs in the floors because otherwise they just keep moving and with the kiddos the little ones running up and down this hall we need to make a safe so I can never take these rugs off by myself. So yeah, I guess I'm lucky that he does that's our living room. We got the couches moved, the rug out, and then Lucas just has a wet uh, cloth and he is doing the baseboards. Yep. And then this is how I mop my floor with this little 
um, bristle handy dandy thing and it has for rugs and for floors. I've never used the rug section, but uh, the, the rug one. But um, this is really cool because when you move it forward, it squirts the water in the solution and then when you pull it back, it dries it. So it's really amazing. And now Noah's doing the baseboards. So it's a family effort all up in here, getting all that done and it feels really good. So yeah, I love this thing. If you guys were ever wondering, this works really good. And the solution that you buy for it, I got it at Costco a million years ago. Um, it's, it has like Febreze in it, so it smells this really good. This is my good. daughter Emma's room. She just finished cleaning it up. She got a new rug from her grandma. Um, everything is very basic and white. She loves the bohemian look, so yeah, she just cleaned this out. She made that pot for that plant. And then her wall of Polaroid, but as you can see, the theme in our house is just very minimal, bright, and clean. So it's easy to keep. So this is our setup outside, and after he does those three rugs, then he is going to do the kids' orange rug, and then we just hang it up on the fence and they'll dry, and that way we save a lot of money by not hiring a professional company to come wash them. So yeah, we just think outside the box. We've always done our rugs this way. It's so much cheaper. So you guys, my mom has a farm. She lives on a farm with my dad. They have 20 acres and a bunch of gardens. <laughs> and even though we have a green onion in our backyard, um, she sent us some green onion, which we love. Fresh dill from her garden and fresh parsley and some zucchini. So we got some fresh produce today, um, obviously for free. And uh, we're really gonna enjoy these. So I just wanted to show you. Good morning, that. everyone. It is Sunday morning, just had my coffee and I am making scrambled eggs with eggs from our chickens. And that is what we are having for breakfast. And then I wanted to show you guys that I have a chicken in the crock pot going. I think I'm gonna cut up some potatoes and put it around there. And that's what's going on. So this I time. have these potatoes I cut up and I put a little bit of this seasoning salt that I have from the Dollar Tree and some avocado oil, chopped up a bunch of garlic and some fresh parsley that I got from my mom yesterday. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it around the chicken in the crock pot. And if there's more room left, I'll cut up some more potatoes because these smell absolutely delicious. And I know they're gonna be delicious. It's not gonna be enough for everyone. So I'm hoping I can cram in there as many as I can. And then my husband is actually frying up some eggs for him. Um, so these are all the eggs we have left over from the store. And then we have our chickens who've been laying eggs, but that's all we have from the store eggs. Might have to pick up some more next. So it's been a few hours on high and this is done. So I'm putting it on a cookie sheet, all the potatoes, and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of avocado oil and put them in a 500 degree oven. Same thing with the chicken, just so that it can get nice and crispy. This is our lunch. And we obviously will have leftovers and it smells absolutely delicious. I just chopped up some more of that fresh parsley. And honestly, I think I'm gonna cut up one of these onions and put it over my potatoes because potatoes with garlic, parsley, and onion is just delicious. And then the chicken kind of broke when I took it out of the crock pot, but that's okay. Put the rest of the potatoes in there. My mouth is watering. It's so, so good. It smells so, For so Sunday good. night dinner, we are at my mom's and she made cabbage rolls and apple cake. Good? You wanna say hi to the YouTube people? Oh, hi, everybody. I love everybody, and I'm happy when my family, they come over here. I like to cook for them. I like to everybody eat and be happy. Domnia Juta. Oh, okay, yeah. So, everybody's eating dinner Everyone, here. So, today is Sunday, and we actually came to my mom's house, as you guys can tell. We had cabbage rolls and stuff. And I'm gonna turn you guys around. They have about 20 acres here, and we are going to do, help them with the hay. So, it'll be fun and help them get the hay and put it away. Hi, babe. Hi. And there is their cows. You wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. So it should be fun. It's a family affair only, obviously. Um, just us. Hey everyone, so it is a Monday morning. Last night we got home super late and I didn't close out the video. 
and I just want to say thank you so much for watching for all my subscribers who have come back if you're new subscribe stick around we have lots of um, videos coming up and hi Lucas hi. and um, I'm gonna start doing the what we're eating and kind of vlog style if you like them give me a thumbs up I'm gonna do them from Monday to Sunday and I will see you guys next week and show you guys what's going on